Okay, so what we've got here is a level 2 functional skills exam question and from the looks of this one we're going to have to sort out all this data and make some kind of table to represent it. But let's have a proper read through the question. Patrick organises a computer game competition. He collects the information in the table on the right. Patrick wants to summarise this information to see how many people want to play the game at each level, are male or female, are under 18 or are 18 or over. Design and complete a table for Patrick to summarise this information. And then for part B, we'll have to evaluate our table by using it to see how many males aged 18 or over want to play the game at level 2. So the tricky thing here is that we need a table that represents three different types of information. We need to know, number one, how many people want to play the game at each level, so we need to know the level. Number two, we also need to know uh, how many are male or female, so we need to know gender. And the third thing we need to know is their age. Are they 18 or over or under 18? And the fact that there are three different categories, that's, that's tricky. That leaves us in a bit of a tricky position. If it was just two categories, if it was like level and gender, for example, we could make a nice two-way table with uh, level one and level two, and we could have male and female. But somehow, we need to fit a third option, a, a third uh, bit of information about these people in our table somewhere. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to group together their gender and their age. And what I mean by that is that my two-way table that I'll, I'll draw in this box in a moment is going to look a bit more like this. I'm going to have level one and level two, sure, but I'm also going to have males uh, under 18. Males under 18. I'm going to have males 18 plus. I'm going to have females under 18. Oh, forgive the small writing. Uh, and females over 18. That's how I'm going to lay out my table because with three bits of information this is the most clear way that I can think of of grouping it all together so I can say so I can read directly from the table that you know there were three uh, level one males under 18. So that's what I'm going to do uh, and I'm going to put it into the box that they've given us. Now this is just my working out I'm just sort of thinking at this point this isn't my final answer, but I'm just going to make this nice and big so I've got all the space I need, and then if I need to later on I can shrink it down again. But I was saying I wanted to group their level together, so let's get that down. I want level 1s to go here, and I'll have the level 2s to go here. Now what I wanted up in these boxes was their gender and their age. So I'm going to start by having male, I'll type out male, and these are going to be the under 18s. In my next box, they're going to be the males who are 18 plus. Next, that we have the females. We need the females who are uh, under 18, and we need the females who are uh, 18 plus. Good. Okay. So it turns out my table was too big, so I'm just going to shrink it down uh, to there. There we go. That's all I need. That is a table that will. Be, that we will be able to put all of this data in. Now just going back to the question, design and complete a table for Patrick to summarise this information. We've designed the table, our table's good, but we also want to complete it. So all of these people need to go into our table. So it's going to take a little while but we'll go through it. We're going to go through one by one, tick them off when we've put them into, the, into our table uh, and we should be able to fill it in that way. So this person, he's level one, he's a male, he's under 18, He's our first person going into this box. The next person is level 1, female, and is under 18. Yep, she's in her box. Uh, level 2, male, over 18. Level 2, male, over 18. You can change that to a 2. And we've done those guys now. We have another level 2, male, under 18. Tick. Uh, a level 2, female, under 18. Level 2, female, under 18. A level 1 female who's 18 plus, and a level 1 female who's 18 plus again. A level 2 male who's 18 plus, tick, and a level 2 male who's 18 plus, that's 4. Uh, a level 1 male who's 18 plus, 1 male 18 plus. A level 2 female who's under 18. Level 2, female, under 18. A level 2, female, under 18 again. 
good. Level 2, male, 18 plus. 2, male, 18 plus. And finally, a level 1, male, 18 plus. Level 1, male, 18 plus. Good. And now, just because I'm a bit pedantic, I'm going to put a 0 in here because there were no females who were older than 18 who were at level 2. Good, okay, so I'm happy. We've done our first part of the question. I'm going to say that we've got those marks. Lovely stuff. Um, part 2, part B, evaluate your table by using it to see how many males aged 18 or over want to play the game at level 2. So how many males, so we're looking at uh, these boxes here, these are our males, aged 18 or over, so it's just these, uh, who want to play the game at level 2. There, I reckon we need 5. There are 5 males who want to play the game at level 2. 18 plus. Good, and that's it. 5 marks.